Well, 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 guys, it seems like WWE 2K19 really went all out with this new trailer that they released. Hey, guys, this is Patrick, and welcome back to another WWE 2K19 video. This, this, this is where we're going to talk about the new trailer that just dropped last night. I must say, it's pretty good. Now... I know everyone loves to complain about how there is there is no gameplay or 2K is 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 lazy and they never show us things. Well, we got well we got it with this trailer. This trailer is enough to get me excited for the game. Why? Because I care. I'm not like the other people who say, "Oh, I'm not buying this game because last year's game sucked." And 2K never show us any gameplay, and they never give us what we want, and blah, blah, blah. I have never said this before, but I feel like I have to say it now. If you're not excited for WWE 2K19, then I have to say you're not a real fan. Because, why would, why would I say that? Why say you don't want to buy the game? Saying that will make you look stupid, and saying those words means nothing anyway, because you're going to buy the game anyway. Anyway, let's talk about the trailer. What did we get in the trailer? Well, for starters, gameplay. A lot of it. Second, we saw updated, updated models and small glimpses of entrances. For example, Sasha Banks' model... It looks good. It looks good. I think her update looks really, really nice. She's got, her, she's got, she has her little entrance now. She's got better looking hairstyle. She's, she's wearing that purple attire she wears. Her jacket looks, looks really nice as well. I think Sasha Banks's model in that little small glimpse looked really, really good. She's been updated, which is, which is great. We saw Ronda Rousey, which you know. She looks alright. I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna. Like it's just a freaking video game. Like I can put my. I can put my hatred aside just for for a video game. That Ronda Rousey does look. Does, does, does look pretty nice. I will say that. Other models. Some of the models kind of look the same. Like, I think there is a few complaints that I could say. Maybe that Jeff Hardy looks exactly the same and. And, and Brock Lesnar, obviously, he looks the same because why? Because why would he look different? Roman Reigns has a few different. Is kind of the same, same in a way. But you know, honestly, I'm gonna be looking more at the positives in this. Seeing all this gameplay just makes me hyped for the game. I am buying the game, no matter what anybody says about the game. Yes, 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 yes. And before you guys say anything, I know. There are missing superstars in the game, but I am not worried. I'll tell you why. I'm not worried about that. Because I know 2K will add them in before the game's released. And if they and if 2K doesn't, well then 2K will just be getting ready to make even more fans more furious. And guys, think about this in the trailer. We saw entrances if you win money in the bank. That is so cool. How could anyone not think about that? How could anyone not think that is good? Because they showed a glimpse of AJ Styles holding the money in the bank. Braun Strowman. And also we're getting women's Royal Rumbles? That's just amazing. That's just amazing. How could, how could you sit there, watch that trailer and say... I don't want this game. Seriously, Women's Royal Rumbles is like a dream come true to me. I've always wanted to play in my video game women participating in a Royal Rumble. And yes, some people might say it was evident that this was going to happen in the game, but come on, guys. I mean, come on. It's th th This trailer was just so freaking good that I've got nothing bad to say about it. There was so much good gameplay, so many new models we saw. Maybe some of them do look the same, or maybe, or maybe some of them was clipped off of 2K18 because maybe they didn't show off. Maybe they haven't got all the models updated, and they just wanted to 
crop a few in from 2K18, which I don't think it is bad, but some of them may need updating, like Jeff Hardy. He definitely needs to be updated. So, but guys, come on. You can't tell me you're not excited for this game. Put your hatred for WWE aside. Just because we've all had, we all have problems with WWE right now, doesn't mean we can't get excited for WWE 2K19. Yes, 2K are lazy. Yes, they don't tend to push the envelope. And 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 and, and honestly, th and honestly, I was about to say, I was about to make a video saying that I think WWE should delay this game a bit more, just so they can give us more gameplay. And more tires, more more looks to the characters because I don't want to sound too negative. I don't even want this video to be about negative stuff. But there can be a bit more wrong here. There there can be more wrong here if they if they don't really update a lot of the attires. Like Dean Ambrose and Baron Corbin. They've been saying on their Twitter page that just because that these are the photos of them, that doesn't mean this is what we're gonna be getting. So hopefully 2K have listened and they will have Dean Ambrose the way he is now with short hair and Baron Corbin with bald, with a bald head. Hopefully they hopefully they come up and fix their way through it all. And obviously obviously they care. They they they're trying at least. 2K is at least trying. They've heard our feedbacks and and, and surprisingly they have listened. Surprisingly they've been listening to our feedbacks. People complained about how Zack Ryder was still wearing the Hype Bros gear. And what did 2K do? 2K re-released a picture of Zack Ryder with his updated model. And people were happy. So it's clear that 2K are kind of listening. They are kind of listening in a way. So you can give them that at least. Now, now let's talk about the missing superstars in the game. We've got Tommaso Ciampa, Brian Kendrick, Buddy Murphy, and Nikki and Nikki Cross. I guess I can add Mike and Maria to this as well. They are on the roster, but they're not in the game. 2K said that they have a reason why Mike and Maria are not on the game. Because they haven't been on TV enough. So is that the reason why other wrestlers like Alex Riley, who was active on the main roster for a long who was on the active roster for a long time? Missed out on all those other games. And also a couple of other wrestlers that have been on the past video games. And the reason why they were not on the games is because either A, they were not on TV a lot. I'm sorry, I just think that's a bit of an lame excuse in my opinion. And I don't really like it that much. If, you, if that's your main excuse on why certain wrestlers don't make the cut, then I don't know, but... That's just how I feel about it. I think Mike and Maria should, if they don't, if they're not going to make the main, main main game, just chuck them in as DLC. Who cares if they haven't been on TV enough? Just chuck them in as DLC, and that's probably what Buddy Murphy is going to be. He's probably going to be a DLC as well. I'm very confused about why Tommaso Ciampa, Brian Kendrick, and Nikki Cross are not in the game, considering that they were in last year's game. You know. And then this is the main reason why I have a big issue with adding in way too many legends. That's kind of like my main concern here. I, this is kind of why I don't like adding in way too many more. Well, that's why I don't like 2K adding in too many legends. Because when they add in too many legends, they'll forget about certain superstars. Like these names I just listed to you. And, and I will say for now, I don't think they're going to be updating this later. But I hope they don't do this. When I saw the roster on SmackDown Hotel, I was very happy that they took away all the Sting characters that they added in last year's game. They took away all the threes and fours of all the other legends, and they just made it one. So hopefully they don't re-bring them back. Because there's no reason to have four Undertakers, three Stings, two Triple H's, or anything like that. There's no reason. Just have it as one character only. And if you want these as alternate attires, you add them in onto that same character as an alternate attire. You don't just add them in for the sake of adding them in. That's all that's basically that. 
And also, guys, there is one more thing I do want to mention in the trailer that we also got. We also have the Mae Young Classic Arena. Because they showed Kyrie Sane performing the insane elbow on on Shayna Baszler in slow motion in the in the Mae Young Classic Arena. I mean, how could anyone not want that? You can create your own Mae Young Classic, which is awesome. Hopefully, it's in tournaments. I just think all you guys, 2K might not... I just think of... Wait, what am I trying to say? I just think all you guys are being a little bit too... Being too he heavy negative on the game. And you're just not giving... And you're just not giving 2K credit. 2K19... I just think 2K19 may not be the best game, but I think the trailer is enough to sell you on the game for me. That's, that's basically what I'm trying to say there. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up if you guys did. Comment your opinions down below as well to give me your feedback and what, do you thought on the, what, what, what were your thoughts on the trailer. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at PBalentine as well. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you all. And I'll, and I'll talk to you all later.